Hey, hey, welcome back to Divine Destinations, all my truckers, travelers, and everybody that's just living their best life. You're here with Empress Pat, and today I want to give you guys some information about getting your CDL, the steps you will go to to get them. And this is more so related to Florida, because that's where I got my permit from, um, the state of Florida, right? So... In order to get your CDL in the state of Florida, I don't know, the heat is on. I'm not turning it off because I'm in a cold area right now. So I hope you guys can hear me. But um, in the state of Florida, right, to get your CDL, you got to get your permit first. So in order to get your permit, you're going to need to take the combination, test the general knowledge, and the air brakes. Those are the first three in order to get the permit. But if you decide to go back and get the um, endorsements, which are triples and doubles, hazmat, and tanker, um, then that's a whole different animal. But you don't have to necessarily get that in order to get your permit. So, like, that's what I did. I got my permit, and then I went back and got the endorsements because it's a lot to study for. You know, that's like six tests at one time. So, for me, doing the three tests, I, um, I, didn't, I didn't go to the DMV and get the book like a lot of people. I just went to YouTube University and I listened to some videos that help. And I'll put the links in the description for those, um, for the videos that I watched. And I also used... Um, an app, CDL Prep, and that helped too. So, like, I would go on to CDL Prep and I took the practice test and the exam test over and over and over. That lets you know, kind of gauge how, how well you're doing, right? And so, the videos, I watched those too. So, whenever I had some free time, I would watch the videos to make sure. And then, in Florida, to take the test to get the permit the first time it's free right but if you fail any of the tests then you gotta pay to take it again and each time you take it is ten dollars but the first time you take it is free you just have to pay for the permit which i don't remember how much that was right now i don't know maybe thirty forty dollars don't quote me on that though so um before you can actually, so I don't know about a lot of places, but the route I went, before I could go to the truck driving school, I needed to have my permit first. So I did that. And then I did, I went back about a week later after listening to some more CD, because I have all my endorsements, the tanker, the triples, devils, and the um, hazmat. Um... Hazmat takes a little longer to come back because they got to fingerprint you and do a background check. But you get your CDL license and it has the endorsements. But something he told me will be coming in the mail for the hazmat. Okay. So, yeah. After you get your permit, I went to truck driving school. I went to ED ESD in Huntsville, Alabama. And it took three weeks so it was quick um, and we learned the backing so you had to learn straight back alley dock and offset shout out to Dan and the crew there in Huntsville Alabama and um, yeah so after you go out on the road and take the pass the backing so we had to pass the, the three backings and then do a road test where we actually went out on the road. And um, after you pass that, you got to go back to your home state, which for me was Florida, and then get your, turning your permit. Well, I, can't, I got to keep the permit, but they cut the corner of it, so I guess it's not usable. And then you, um, you can get your CDL license the same day. So that's what I did. Um, and then you can start to apply for companies. 
Let me see if there's anything I forgot. So for us, it was it was kind of simple. Yeah. Take the three tests for the permit, which is combination, general knowledge, and air brakes. And again, I'm going to put the links in the description and then download the CDL prep. I'll try to put the link for that also in the description. And then you can head off to take your actual training in the truck. And it was my first time actually ever being in the truck once I finally got to school. Um, school went, went well. It was quick. It was easy. Um, by the second day after you do your paperwork, um, like filling out a lot of paperwork, and if you haven't taken your drug test, they're going to take your drug test. My trucking school did just a urine. Um, you had to drop urine, a urine analysis. And then you were able to continue the process. Uh, by the second day, they had us in the truck um, learning to straight back. So in my class, the ones that came in with me, it wasn't that big. So it was pretty easy. Um, it was quick, three weeks, and you're ready to start applying for jobs wherever if you didn't sign on with a, a company to... Um, you know, to go and work with them. Like some schools will send you to, some companies will send you to school. We should get into that in another video because I don't want this to be long. But anyway, some companies will send you to school. And then the other option is you could pay out of pocket. But if you do pay out of pocket, try to find a company that will reimburse you for your tuition fees because that's also possible there's a few that do that also so yeah i hope this video was helpful um i'll get more into my process and the company that i went with a little bit later but we are in the beginning of the process and that's what i did so this is what i know for the state of florida i can't say that this is exact for where um you guys are but yeah so this is one of the steps you would have to take in order to acquire your CDL license, all right? Get the permit first by taking the taking the <laughs> straight taking the air brakes combination and general knowledge. And then if you want and you can manage it, you can do the air brakes and the tanker and the triples and devils if you want those. Like even if I don't plan to do tanker or triples and devils, um, I still wanted to have them. And yeah. So I hope that helps again. Thank you for tuning in to Divine Destinations. This is Empress Pat and I'm out. Thank you.